When it comes to family photos, our goal first and foremost is to make sure that everybody's faces are in focus, eyes are open, mouths are smiling, and we're getting nice, clean, even lighting over everybody who is there and making sure that we just capture everybody who is important to you to get during those family and group photos. Now, just for a warning, there's usually like an uncle or somebody who comes up to us and is like, why aren't we getting that mountain in the background? And it's like, <laughs> We chose intentionally not to get that mountain in the background because the lighting wasn't perfect for that. Sometimes it is, and that's great. But when it's not, we do have to get everybody in focus and everybody in clean lighting. So we're gonna choose a more simple backdrop for that. Um, but that being said, we're gonna go over five steps now that help us get through this process and help you plan through this process to make sure it goes nice, quick, and awesome. Okay, so for your to-do list before the wedding day, starting with number one, we have just create a really simple game plan of when and where you want the family photos taken. And where you want the family photos taken can be somewhere close to the ceremony or somewhere close to your first look spot. Um, we'll help you get a little more specific based on the lighting that day. And then the when is based on, usually we see two options for the when. And one option is that people do family photos all right after the ceremony, which ends up taking you know somewhere between 20 and 30, 40 minutes. And the other option is to do immediate family photos. This is if you're gonna do a first look, to do immediate family photos right before the ceremony and after your first look. And then the rest of your family photos, extended family, after the ceremony so that you've split them up and you can get to your cocktail hour sooner. So that's our number one tip. Number two is gonna be starting big and then working your way down. And what we mean by that is and we'll have a download available. You can check the link in the bio or go to our website for it. Um, but you basically just wanna build your list so that you start with the biggest grouping and then you can release people as we're, we're done with them and work your way down to the smallest grouping. That way those people get to go enjoy cocktail hour. Grandma and grandpa don't have to stand around as long. Um, so it just helps us get through things in sort of a more specific way. Yeah, and tip number three is to not forget before your wedding day to send us and maybe your wedding planner, um, the list of your family photo groupings that you want. So write all that down based on the template we have and based on the tip Jamie gave about biggest to smallest, and then send it over. We'll show up on the wedding day with the family photo list printed out and ready to go. And then number four is gonna be finding somebody in your family or close to your family who knows everybody's name. So when we show up to the wedding, we can yell out names based on that list, but somebody who knows your family is able to track down you know, where Uncle Ernie went and be able to grab him and pull him in, um, and they're gonna be our best friends on the wedding day. Oftentimes it's a, it's a brother, a sister, a cousin, or an aunt or an uncle. So uh, just make sure you have somebody available who can be a little bit more commanding than uh, the average person, and that's gonna be our best friend on the wedding day. Yeah, and then our last fifth um, piece of advice is to just communicate with all the people who are gonna be in a family photo before the wedding day. So if they know that beforehand, they won't be scattered everywhere right after the ceremony, and we won't have to spend our time going out and looking for them and grabbing that friend or aunt or brother to help us find that person. We don't know who Uncle Ernie is, so we're gonna go look for, for someone that we don't know who it is. So basically just tell them all ahead of time what the game plan is so that they're in the loop and so that we can get to the photos a little bit quicker. With all of these tips, family photos will go really smoothly and we'll get done and you guys will get to go enjoy your cocktail hour or we'll get to go do more couple portraits and have more time for that. Yeah. So um, that's why taking these bits of advice and tackling them ahead of time is gonna be so helpful. And then the last bit of advice, kind of our bonus tip, is to just not stress over getting every single combination because uh, we'll have more time maybe on the dance floor where we can capture other groupings or something like that if we didn't get a chance to get to them yeah. during this portion of the wedding day. So that's it, that's family photos. Yeah. Um, we have more videos coming out with this series. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to see these videos as they come out and uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for watching, bye.